A sigh of relief for those on the Gulf who dodged major damage from Hurricane Laura. Alex Love explains that flooding from the storm surge will soon recede. You saw on the beaches how heavy the wind was and choppy the waves were creating a storm surge. As you drive further inland, this is what it does to low-lying roads in Bay St. Louis, engulfing them with water, forcing a lot of locals to park their cars on higher ground. We drove our Storm Team 12 Thunder Truck through some of the impacted neighborhoods, and what we saw was the canals and rivers running next to them were backed up, with Laura sending a four-foot surge through St. Louis Bay. Leading to these back roads, no houses should experience physical damage because since Katrina, all of them had to be built on stilts. Some of them were as much as 18 feet tall. Some people left for a friend's home since they couldn't keep their cars where they lived, while others decided to walk back and wait it out. Overall, they're still grateful. Extremely fortunate because we could have gone either way. So we're, we're, we're lucky. We're lucky. We're very lucky. Very lucky. It could have been a lot more. It could have been a lot more. So we're fortunate. We're very, very fortunate. All the cars that are lined up, so that's, that's what we do. And we sign it, line it up there, and it usually works okay. And throughout the day, we can expect to see a few showers from outer bands from Laura, but nothing that is dangerous. We also spoke to emergency management for Hancock and Harrison County. They said overall, we are in the clear. Reporting in Bay St. Louis, Alex Love, 12 News.